Greetings, Starfighters. So, um, odds are, there's a fair chance that some of you watching this may not, may have missed it, but a few months ago, I did a video where I used a little online spinny wheel thing to choose two of the books I would read this year from a list of about 30 titles that are popular on Book Talk and BookTube, and those two have some overlap, but uh, I just finished the first of those two, uh, The Guest by Emma Klein. And this is kind of a spoiler-free, I mean, I guess you could call it a review. I, I've never really thought of myself as a critic, but if you, especially if, you, if you've stumbled onto this through somehow, uh, my main show, Shameless Cash Grab, I talk about movies, but I don't really call myself a critic. I describe the show as my initial reactions plus jokes. But um, I, I'm going to be less jokey here just because I want to keep this video short. As short as this book thankfully was. Now, I've certainly read worse. I mean, just off the top of my head, two pop right in there just immediately. But, um, yeah, it's not great. I mean, it wasn't bad enough for me to do a DNF. That's um, do not finish for those who may not know. <laughs> Although, odds are, if you're seeing this video, you do, so I probably was just incredibly condescending there. Sorry. Um, not really going to get into spoilers about the ending of this book, especially since it doesn't particularly have one. The, the, this book doesn't really end so much as it stops. Uh, bringing movies back into this, uh, there's this producer you may have heard of named Roger Corman, who was infamously kind of stingy. He would never let his directors have more money to finish a movie. Well, except for one instance, uh, the late Peter Bogdanovich managed to get him to give him more money f to finish the movie Targets, and um, that's actually pretty worth it. I mean, the movie hasn't aged great, but it's not entirely Bogdanovich's fault. Sidetrack. This book doesn't really end so much as it stops. Because, like, like those movies I was talking about, sometimes I'm, it's like they'd run out of money before they could film the climax. So the movie, if you're watch, you watch it, some of those movies would turn up like on MST3K. The movie wouldn't really end so much as it would stop. And this book is kind of the same way. Uh, it, it feels like it's going for an ambiguous ending, but like really the only thread dangling at the end there, well, there are a lot of dangling threads, but like the one that the book ends on is, does the main character have a concussion or not? That's really it. That's the that's the big cliffhanger that will never be resolved. And um, Also, um, other reviewers of this book have mentioned it. I, I looked up a few. Uh, there are a lot of things that feel like they were set up for stuff that would all come together in the climax in a way that wouldn't necessarily be realistic, but would be narratively satisfying. And, you know, this is a story, so you... Oftentimes, you want narratively satisfying more than realistic, despite what some people might think they want. But that also doesn't happen here. Um, there, there's a clip from The Simpsons that gets used by internet reviewers, mostly talking about movies, but I think it applies to this, where uh, it's like they're, they're eating dinner and Lisa says, maybe there is no moral to the story, and then Homer goes, exactly, it's just a bunch of stuff that happened. And I think that's that's the guest in a nutshell. I mean, I, I, I suppose there is a story, but for the most part, it's just a bunch of stuff that happens to the main character, who's not particularly likable, but that in itself isn't the problem. I've read some great books that have unlikable protagonists. One of my all-time favorites is a book called Homeland, uh, two words, by the author Sam Lipsight. But here it just doesn't particularly work, because, like, She's not good enough to get a redemption arc, but she's also not bad enough to be interesting. She's just kind of a selfish jerk. You're not really... There's there's really nothing here. You're not rooting for her to be redeemed or to get her major come up in, so you're just kind of like just following her along to the end, and then she gets to the thing she wants to go to, but she kind of seems a little out of it after a car accident, and it's like, again, does she have a concussion or not? That's that's the big hanging question at the end of this, and I don't really think that's worth it. 
I mean, I don't think it's bad enough for me to say avoid this. I can like think of two, five even books off the top of my head that I would tell people to not bother with altogether. I would not put this on that list. But I'm not going to recommend it to anybody either unless, I mean, I guess unless this is just kind of your thing. Because, I mean, again, I got this from a random book list. This isn't necessarily in my comfort zone. This is not something I would have picked up otherwise. So, yeah, that's uh, The Guest by Emma Klein. Um, in case you haven't seen that uh, wheel video, I'll include a link to it in the show notes so you can if, you, if you're interested at all. Um, I'm not going to get to it right away. I'm actually reading the next book in the Midsolar Murder series by Mer Lafferty right now. And then after that, I'm planning to do, um, well, excluding graphic novels. Uh, I've also got some of those on the, on the, on the to-do list, but I think the next one after Midsolar Murders is going to be a book about, a nonfiction book about Native Americans and comedy called We Had a Little Real Estate Problem. But uh, the second of the books that won on the wheel, I'll be doing that um, probably dur like maybe during or maybe after summer, towards the end of the year. And that's going to be uh, Be Treed by Emily Henry. And um, I'm not necessarily looking forward to this one, but just kind of going off vibes, I think I'm probably going to like it more than the, than the guest. Though that's not the highest of bars, so we'll see. So uh, I guess see you in several months, definitely in 2024. But you know, it'll, it'll still be a while. But when when I'm uh, here again talking about books, it's going to be about Beach Read by Emily Henry. So uh, yeah, Th that's my review, I guess if you could call it that. I, I gave it two stars on Goodreads and. Um, yeah, this book exists. See, I'm holding it. It exists. <laughs>